Hi, welcome to Storytime by Elise. Today, I'm going to be reading Mimi's Magic Wardrobe, The Fairy Party Dress by Daryl Stevenson. It was a Midsummer's Eve and Mimi had planned a quiet night at home. She sat at a garden table with a cup of rosehip tea and a delicious hunk of cheese. In the soft light of the moon, she watched the baby moths flutter merrily about. What a lovely evening. But airy fairy, Mimi's muscule fairy godmother, had a very different plan. Mimi was not going to sit in her garden. She was going on a magical adventure. Airy fairy began to wave her little wand, sparkling Mimi with magic fairy dust. Suddenly, Mimi was standing in front of her magic wardrobe. Carefully, she reached into her pocket and took out the dainty velvet pouch holding the wardrobe golden key. As she turned the key in the lock, the door swung open. Mimi could hardly believe her eyes. Shimmering inside was a real silk fairy party dress with the most delicate fairy wings. Mimi slipped the dress on. It was simply beautiful. There was a tiny wand and the most exquisite pair of rose petal slippers, a perfect fit. With a swish of silk, Mimi glided into the wardrobe. Mimi's heart skipped a beat. She had a feeling this was going to be a very special adventure. The wardrobe began to spin faster and faster when it finally came to a halt. The doors opened, the sight that greeted Mimi took her breath away. It was the fairies midsummer ball. Every fairy in the land must have been there, all wearing the loveliest party dress. Mimi was so pleased the wardrobe had given her a particularly beautiful one. A very jolly band played cheerily and guests whirled and whirled around the dance floor. Mimi decided to try out her wings. A very cautiously began to flutter just above the ground. This was fun. As she got more daring, Mimi flitted joyfully about over the band and around the dance floor. Then suddenly she heard a familiar voice. Mimi, Mimi, what are you doing? The prince is waiting. Come, little petite pos. I must introduce you to him. It was Madame Frufu, dressed in a splendid stripy ball gown, frantically flying her towards her. She grabbed Mimi's paw and led her down to where the prince was waiting. His Royal Highness was dressed in a very smart coat of the most sponges purple velvet. On his head was perched a golden crown encrusted with the deepest red rubies. Although a little on the small side, he really was the most handsome fellow and oh, how he could dance. Mimi enchanted the prince. He guided her over to his special table where they dined on a banquet of fairy cakes and sipped elderflower fizz from a crystal goblet. Later, he took her for a ride in the royal boat on the lake and held her hand in the moonlight. It was so romantic. Then it was time to dance. They danced and danced and danced and the hours flew by until finally the clock began to strike midnight and sadly just like in Cinderella's story the magic had come to an end. The next moment Mimi found herself back in the attic. Her adventure was over. Sleepily she stepped out of her precious book gown just as she was about to close the wardrobe doors she noticed that she had left one of her rose petal slippers behind just like cinderella the end i hope you guys enjoyed the story and we'll come back for another one bye